76er fans celebrated a trip to the... All right, Greeny, it's been 21 years since 76er fans celebrated a trip to the conference finals. The drought will continue unless Philadelphia down 3-2 to Miami beats the Heat tonight in Game 6 at Wells Fargo Center to force a Game 7 Sunday back in South Florida. NBA courtside is presented by Chime. Joel Embiid playing through multiple injuries, trying to stave off elimination against the Heat. And Jimmy Butler, one win away from the conference finals for the second time in three years. In the other series in the East, what a game last night in Boston. Milwaukee now with a 3-2 lead with game six tomorrow on ESPN back in Milwaukee. With the Hall of Famer, Hubie Brown, I'm Dave Pash. George Sedano here as well. You know, Hubie, it's very rare when a player is better in the playoffs than he is in the regular season, but that's the case with Jimmy Butler. It has been throughout his career. It is, again, not only in the postseason, but in this series, he's been the best player. No doubt about it. Now, during the season, 21 points a game. In this playoff series, 26 points, and he's doing it on 17 shots. How about the shooting percentage with the seven rebounds and almost six assists? Plus, he will always draw a tough assignment defensively. Now, at the offensive end, on pick and rolls, he can shoot the three and the mid-range, but down in here, he's dynamite. Why? Because you can't foul him. He'll go to the line, shoot 84, 85%, but he will always try to work to his sweet spots, whether it's on the baseline or whether it's in the painted area. Now, you have to pay attention to him now because he will be at the top of his game. With more on Butler, let's check in with George. Thanks, Dave. Jimmy Butler continues to be the superstar the Miami Heat have thought he would be when they signed him three years ago. He leads the team in points, assists, and steals during this postseason. He's the fourth leading scorer in the NBA this postseason. And everyone talks about bubble Jimmy. And he scored 22 points a game in the playoffs that particular year. Led the Heat to the NBA Finals against the Los Angeles Lakers. You see the numbers. He's even better this particular season. Now... If you put it in historical context, as far as where he ranks in Miami Heat history, if you look at guys who have played beyond the first round, he's in some great company there with LeBron James and Dwayne Wade. And when I spoke to Eric Spolster earlier today, I asked him, hey, do you run any of this stuff that's similar to what you ran with Dwayne and LeBron? And he said, hmm, yeah, I felt like we had some of those guys that we could run some similar stuff with this guy, and it's worked out pretty well. Back to you guys. And the Miami Heat, they put one on the Philadelphia 76ers. How does Philadelphia recover from this? We gotta go back home and be ready. Can't play me like one of them dudes, you probably end up on the news. We mobbing and wildin', you know we ain't talking them dudes. Especially for none of you dudes, we slide with Calvin. Rockin' Dior, I still remember me poor, I'm trying to get more. Okay. Rockin' to Philly. by legal zoom in the two games here in philadelphia earlier in the series jimmy butler put up 73 points he's been terrific on the road throughout the postseason the rest of the miami heat players have not been so good on the road they lost both those games in this series games three and four max Struess has helped butler out though tonight they have 18 of the 24 miami points and have an eight point lead late here in the first quarter of game six the heat looking to close this series out and move on to the conference finals.
start the third quarter. Miami looking to close this series out. A double-digit lead going to the fourth. from the floor he's got himself nine points but he's been a little inspiration timeout Miami 17 point lead for the heat trying to win the series 